Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite applications, and that is Timery. Timery is a time tracking app that uses the Toggle Web API, and it's available for iPhone, iPad, Mac OS, and even Apple Watch. There's a ton that this application can do, but the real benefit of time tracking comes from understanding some basic principles and understanding where your time is actually going. So in today's episode, we're going to take that approach. We're going to look at how to set up saved timers. We're going to look at how to create time entries, edit them, view reports, and more, starting with the iPhone, which is the primary place that I use Timery, the iPad, and explain some of the differences in the Timery interface and the additional features that are enabled on that platform, and then macOS. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download and install the Timery app. And the full name for the Timery app is Timery for Toggle. And that's because Timery sits on top of the Toggle service. But this is the application that we're looking for in the App Store right here. Now, once you've downloaded the application, tap on Open. And the first thing we need to do in the application is either log in with our current Toggle account or create a new one. Now, like I said, Timery sits on top of the Toggle web API. Toggle is a service that is used for time tracking, but the Toggle app for iOS really isn't all that good. So Timery is the app that Toggle should have made. And now you don't have to have a paid Toggle account in order to use the Timery application. You just need to have a Toggle account. You can log in with your email and password if you already have a Toggle account right here, but you can also sign up for one if you don't. All right, so now that we've signed up, we're taken into the application itself. And there's a couple of suggestions here in the Save Timers section. But before we get too far here, let's take a look at the interface for this application. It's very simple. And on the bottom, there are four different tabs. The Save Timers is where we are right now. These are where we would create and save timers that we're going to use over and over again. The next tab is Time Entries. And this will show all of the time entries that we've tracked inside of Timery. The next tab is Reports, which will give us data on the projects that we've tracked time against, or even the tags that we've tracked time against if we set things up correctly. And the last tab is the Settings tab, where we can configure a bunch of options inside of Timery. Right above that is a bar which will display our currently running timer. Right now, there is no time entry running. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. 